So you want to learn how to run barefoot? OMW, on my way to you. Good at what I do. I'm OMW. My book, Being Barefoot is the way. When you wear a shoe, you're altering your natural being. How should I run properly? What is the right proper form? How should I land on my foot when I run? Now these are the questions you will never need to ask as long as you don't put a barrier between you and the ground. When you do something that's relatively fast and when you're running, each step is coming too fast. Consciously, you cannot really affect your gait and your stride and the way how you land effectively. Most people are like, well, what do you mean? I can make a decision to run on my forefoot instead of heel strike. But once you have a little experience, you know that within 50 feet of running barefoot, you're going to be using all different type of gates and landing patterns. When you run in shoes, doesn't matter what type of shoe it is, your feet can only sense the inside of your shoes, which leads to that it repeats always exactly the same type of landing, which overuses the pattern. And that leads to, mm, well, injuries. When you're running barefoot with your bare soul touching the ground, you feel the changing surface with every step. Every step is different and that leads to health and, well, joy. The human brain does not have the capability to adjust consciously something that is so fast changing. But your subconscious mind has the capability. When you're running barefoot, your unconscious, subconscious brain makes decisions too fast for your conscious mind to really realize what is going on. OMW, on my way to you, good at what I do. People have a lot of misconceptions about barefoot running. One of those misconceptions is that your foot is going to be superbly calloused up and that your foot is going to look really bad. This foot had ran a lot barefoot. So take a peek. The difference between a normal shoe person's foot and my foot is that I have a bigger arch. And there is a meatiness to the, the foot. You can also see that there are dry skin on the foot itself, but it's nothing too crazy. You know, it's really nothing too crazy. But this is the way how the foot looks. It's nothing too wild. It has a, a bigger height to it than for people who run in shoes. The bigger height comes from when your foot strengthens, the arch becomes stronger and it comes up higher. When I started to run systematically a lot barefoot, my foot strength, it got smaller for a while because it lifted itself up. But eventually, the foot becomes more robust. My foot grew about the one, one and a half sizes afterwards just because it got thicker overall. Let's say you're a runner and you decided you had enough of injuring yourself. You got sick of keep wearing shoes out all the blisters that you had to tape up constantly. And you're like, is there another way? Well, my experience, there is another way. When you take your shoe off and you decide to go barefoot, and from here on, you're going to try to work on yourself as a runner as nature designed you to work on yourself. Without shoes, without anything that restricts your body from its natural movement. And barefoot running, that's what exactly what it is. It is an unrestricted, free way of flowing, caressing the ground while you are fast moving with your gait. Long time ago, people did care about their feet much more than today. Today, people just wash their feet, cut their toenails, and that's that. If you would have to rely on your foot, you would pay much more attention to it. And when you take your shoe off and you start to run barefoot, that care somehow shows up again. So I spend a lot of time taking good care of my foot. Of course, when you run through New York, you go home and you scrub your foot big time. Yes, you do that. But there's an interesting statistic that I've seen that people who spend a lot of time barefoot have much less foot skin diseases. And I understand why, because I'm obsessed with my foot. Cleaning it, making it healthy and stretching it, separating my toes so they stay flexible, rotating my foot all over the places. So my foot is not just healthier because I'm using it for running and I'm barefoot, but I do put more emphasis on it. The most simplistic way of going about running if you decide not to wear shoes. People who hike or run in the areas where you're doing your barefoot activities, people are blown away from the fact that you are barefoot outdoors. Until a baby is not born with a pair of shoes on, the strange thing is wearing shoes. The proprioceptors, the cells on the sole of your foot, communicates to your brain and lets your brain know what is the surface that you're running on. If the surface has little pebbles like this, your foot is going to land differently. The length of the gate is gonna be different. 
the way how your body shock absorbs every single step is going to be different. All of that information from your feet will come up to your brain and your brain continuously makes sure to adjust your stride length, adjust the way how your foot lands, because your foot can land in many different ways. In the case any of these things pique your curiosity, please press the like button, subscribe and follow us because we are going to bring out more of these type of videos on how to run barefoot, how to start your brand new running procedure. Thanks for watching guys. Ciao. OMW, on my way to you. Good at what I do. I'm OMW. OMW, on my way to you. Good at what I do. I'm OMW.